My name's Paul Maliphant. I'm a Market Sector Director in Halcro's Highways and Transportation team, uh, responsible for developing our business, working with public sector regeneration uh, bodies, agencies like the Environment Agency. The main interest, I think, is the variety of work that I get. I, I can do some work in, in the field, some work in the office, some technical work. I work as an engineering geologist as well mentoring uh, other staff, junior staff, to help them improve their competencies, um, as well as running uh, uh, bids for major projects, uh, trying to win more work for Halcro, which has its own individual challenges. Probably one of the major turning points in my career was when I was working with British Coal and began to realise that there was, it was time for a change. It was an industry which was slowly declining. Um, and I put out an application for a job and I was turned down on the basis that I was too specialised, which made me stop and think about where I was going and how I was uh, progressing my career. And it was at that time that I made the decision uh, to do a master's degree part-time. My interest in geology started, I suppose, when I was at, uh, at school. I did uh, straight sciences at, uh, at A-level, chemistry, physics and maths. Uh, and decided that the earth sciences was what was interesting me. I decided to take the middle road and go for the geology, which would allow me uh, to keep my career options open for quite a long time. At school, I was a student who could do better. Probably one of the most irritating things about my school work is that I eventually proved my teachers right, because I could do better and I did do better. After I got my A-levels, uh, I decided that uh, I needed to take a year off. I thought I was quite naive. Uh, I wanted to find out a little bit more about, uh, about the world. Uh, so I actually took a year off and took a structured year working with handicapped children at a holiday centre in Cornwall, working with down and outs in London and also uh, working on an ecological expedition in central Scotland. There was a, a young girl I worked with down in Cornwall where I was working with handicapped kids uh, who at the age of 10 was told that she had a, a tumour on her spine and she was given a couple of choices. Uh, the first choice was to leave it alone and die. Uh, the second choice was to have an operation, uh, but she had a 50% chance of uh, ending up in a wheelchair. When I met her, she was in a wheelchair, but she was also in the German wheelchair basketball team. And she'd taken that knock and just said, no, that's my new life now. I'll go and make a life of it. And I've always remembered that. I think another person who I've... Uh, met and, and associated with quite closely was my grandfather. Uh, he was a, a minister in the United Reformed Church. He preached on the topic of let's do it together uh, and that's something that I've had stuck in my mind ever since. Uh, I try and do things with my family so that we do things together and also teamwork uh, in my line of business is fundamentally important. We're much more successful when we work together as a team. Both my children have got an interest in the theatre when my eldest daughter was involved uh, in uh, an ice skating club, I ended up learning to skate and skating in two ice pantomimes. My youngest daughter then got involved in a youth drama club um, where they needed some adults to play parts. Uh, so I ended up playing the king in The King and I. And more recently, I performed in the Cardiff premiere of Titanic the Musical. I would love to uh, have more time uh, to raise money for charities. Uh, a particular charity that I would focus on if I had the opportunity is Bernardo's. There was a friend of our family, she had problems, and at the age of 14 she walked herself in front of a train. Um, but she was working with Bernardo's even when she was in hospital and ill. So I'd like to, if I had the opportunity, to put back a little bit for her by supporting that charity.